Yo, yo. We are on 50 and 51 out of book one right here. And we have something new. We have dynamics. And dynamics <clears throat> are loud, soft, medium loud. You know, those ones we learned before. Forte and piano, and mezzo forte, all those. But this is called a crescendo where we have a hairpin. Kind of looks like a hairpin that you put in your hair. Gets bigger. That means we get gradually louder. Crescendo means we slowly get louder. So we get louder. The opposite is a decrescendo. Sometimes it's called a diminuendo, like you're dimming the lights. Diminuendo. And that's to get softer. So let me see if this clarinet reed is wet enough for me to play. Diminuendo or decrescendo, I'm going to start loud and get soft. Nope, it is very dry. Let me get a different instrument. All right, diminuendo, decrescendo, two different names, but... Is a decrescendo or a diminuendo? The crescendo, the one that gets louder, is... The opposite. So, let's take a look. 50 is a clapping one. And in that first measure, we have one and two and three and four. So it would end up sounding one and two and three and four. But it wants us to crescendo from a piano, the quietest, to a forte, the loudest. So one and two and three and four. And let's try that. Let me put the metronome on. Ready, go. One and two and three. So that's our first measure. Second measure, one, two, and three, four. So it ends up sounding one, and two, and three, and four. And let's try that together. Ready, go. One, and two, and three, and four, and. So first two measures would sound say that I'm going to do. Ready, go. Do, 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 do. Sorry, I was mispointing a little bit there. Let's try clapping it. Ready, go. Two and three and four with the day crescendo. But let's just do the rhythm first. One, two, and three and four. Clap it. Go. One and two and three and four. Now we're gonna decrescendo. One and two and three and four. Ready, clap. One and two and three and four. Do it again. Let's try that now. Ready? One through three. Go. One and two and three and four. One, two and three and four. One and two and three and four. And last measure is just three chord notes, right? One, two, three, rest. Which sounds? And I played it so quiet because it says piano there, right? So, let's try the whole thing. Here we go, whole thing with dynamics. Go. One and two and three and four. And one and two and three and four. And one and two and three and four. <coughs> All right, go into practice mode and give it a shot.
That's 50. Take a look at 51. What do you notice? If you notice that it's the same rhythms, they just added notes, correct. So we don't have to really talk about the rhythm. We just need to add in the notes now. So why don't we try sight reading? There's dynamics in here. Remember to play quiet. We're going to use tiny, tiny air. If you play percussion, you hit it lightly. Play loud, big air, hit it hard. So that means when we crescendo, you have to slowly give more air to get it louder. Or if you're percussion, you have to slowly hit harder and harder to get it louder. Opposite for day crescendoing. We have to start loud with a lot of air or hitting it hard with the uh, percussion into small. So let's try 51. One and two and ready. Sorry. Dry reed. These reed instruments won't work unless the reed is wet. Believe me, that's kind of funny. Here we go. One and two and ready. Rest. Cool. So why don't we try the first measure? One and two and three and four. Ready? Go. Again, go. Second measure. One and two and three and four. Ready? Go. Now let's put together one and two. Ready? time if you need to. I'm just not telling you to pause as much anymore because I know you can do it on your own. Anytime you need to pause, pause. Third measure. One and two and three and four. Ready? Go. Again. Remember to take crescendo. Ready? And finally, Last measure, ready. And we're small because it's beyond. Last time. So whole thing will sound like this. I'm gonna do the demo and let you go practice. Here's the demo. If you feel comfortable with it already, go ahead and play along. Ready? ready to play this as final performance number 51. for the next one. Next one is, ooh, we're on the performance spotlight pages. We'll do 52, 53, and 54, but then after that, we're going to skip over to 58. Cool, cool, because 55, 56, 57 is for a big uh, like band ensemble. So there's different parts, and it's not going to make sense because everybody's playing a different part. So we'll do 52, 53, 54, and then it'll skip to 58. Cool, cool.